What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I am the Marketing Nomad. My name is Prit. So about two weeks ago, I actually posted um, like a question sticker on my Instagram stories and I asked my followers what hobby should I try out and while I got like a list of hobbies that probably I will try out someday you know some of them are really nice um, there was chess if I'm not wrong uh, there was quilling wow that's fantastic so of all the suggestions I got four of them that were puzzles Okay, and one of them did say that I should try out a thousand piece puzzle. But here's the thing guys, I have not done a puzzle in the last 20 years, which means the last time I even did a puzzle was when I was eight years old and well, we know how that was, right? I mean, it was just really simple and we could do it in five minutes. So I decided to not go for the thousand piece puzzle. I thought that I would go for the 500 one and see how I was doing. So I reached out to a friend of mine. I personally did not have any puzzles. I reached out to a friend of mine and she sent over a puzzle for me. So Pooja, if you are watching this, thank you so much for doing that. So I picked the puzzle. It was really difficult. Like the strokes are so fine in that and it's basically a painting that's been made into a puzzle and it was not easy 500 pieces I think it took me a total of seven hours so in this video in this vlog I'm going to do a daily recount of what happened my progress my thoughts that day and all of those things so I'm not gonna give a complete overview of my entire process of doing the puzzle though there was no process it was just me doing whatever I wanted to uh, but you know the entire puzzle took me seven hours to do but I'm gonna make it into a 20 minute vlog so I'm just gonna show you the highlights in this vlog so yep let's go into my first day of doing the puzzle before we get into today's video, here's a shout out to our sponsors. Thank you so much Coconutty for sponsoring this video. At Coconutty, they always ensure that everyone has what they need to live a healthy, happy, and balanced life. And that means access to high quality products rich in the benefits that Mother Nature had always intended for us. In this video over here, you can see me using their unique sweet neem hair oil that contains a blend of natural herbs with ingredients to provide nourishment to both your hair, scalp, resulting in noticeably thicker, fuller, and healthier hair. I absolutely love this product. And if you wish to buy from Coconutty, all you have to do is log on to www.coconuttystore.com. Use my coupon code PRIT15, that is P-R-I-T-1-5, to get 15% off on every single purchase. Now let's get back to our video. Okay, so first I got a square table that I had in my house and I put all the pieces on the table as you can see. And I think you can also see a reflection of me over there. And at this time, I think I was trying to sort it out by the colors and the, the strokes and stuff like that. And then I got a little too overwhelmed. So I'm like, no, I think I will first look for the edges. So I started looking for the edges of the entire puzzle, which I thought was a super smart way to go because this way I was able to get the frame of the entire puzzle before I got into the middle. So I'm actually pretty proud of this. <laughs> so I'm just looking for the edges, like the entire frame of the puzzle. And I think I got a few of them. So I started making it. And as you can see, I'm doing it quite slowly. This is at 25X guys. So you can imagine how slow I was at doing all of this, but I started sorting those out by the colors and I was able to figure out where each piece was gonna go and then I slowly started kind of arranging them together so that's what you see me doing over here and then I got the top part which was a little difficult because there's like a whole section that is just blue and nothing on them so figuring out how those fit together was a little bit difficult but as you can see I'm slowly figuring out how to uh, get the entire frame together though there were a few like 
frame pieces, I guess I would say, that I did miss out and uh, I left them in the box. And then at this point, I realized that this was gonna be bigger than my square table. So I was like, oops. And I decided that I was going to get a kind of a different frame for myself. I was gonna put it on a mat below and then I was going to just do the puzzle on the floor from henceforth, I guess I would say. So this is me, um, you know, getting the same stuff just down on the floor and then I'm slowly starting to fit the frame pieces back again. So it's actually, I think it was 46 cm by 34.5 cm. So that was the size of the puzzle. And yeah, it definitely hurt my back a little bit to be doing this on the floor, but I was doing this only 20 to 25 minutes a day. Uh, and I think I spread this over a couple of days and believe me guys, I actually ended up picking this topic for the vlog uh, during the two most hectic weeks. I don't know why I did that, but I just did and here we are. So 20 to 25 minutes a day, that's all I spent on this. I couldn't afford more time on this and it took me a total of 7 hours and 12 minutes to complete this entire puzzle. So it looks like I'm almost getting the frame right, but there are a few pieces that I missed and I decided to let that go. So here's where I made a mistake actually. I just put a few pieces and I decided that I would just put them according to their color, but then I realized that that was overwhelming me because there were just so many pieces. So I decided to take a few at a time and try to see if I was able to get them to piece together. And I think that that worked out much better for me because I wasn't overwhelmed with so many pieces on the board. I was just like, okay, there are only 10 pieces that I need to figure out first. And that's how I did it. I slowly started figuring out and slowly started placing where I thought the pieces would go, uh, which I think was a little bit weird for me because I think blowing up the picture that's on the box onto a real size image is a little bit differ different, I guess. and. I wasn't able to figure out where exactly the pieces were going, but I had a fair idea, which was a good thing, I guess. So that's when I started, you know, starting from the, the parts that I thought were easier and distinct, especially the part that you see me making down below, that was really, really distinct. So at this point, I'm still trying to figure out where I need to start because I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I see a lot of pieces that have pink, on them but I realized that there are two different kinds of pink over there one's like a darker shade which is closer to red and another one is the light pink that you see so that's when I realized that they're all somehow connected to each other but at the same time I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to kind of fit them all together so I'm sort of figuring out at this point that okay I've got a few pieces that are medium red i guess i would say a few pieces that are light pink and then there are dark pink puzzle pieces and i know that it kind of goes in that shade um, range so i'm gonna go kind of figure out slowly and then i also choose pieces that have those dark red shades those light pink shades so that i can get that entire image fixed and of course while i was looking for those pink pieces i actually did find a few to you know finish the frame so yeah, this is me basically just working through the whole thing and I'm sort of finding an image over there and that's when I realized that um, I'm probably not placing it exactly where it should be but that's okay and then I just keep playing around with the pieces trying to fit as many together even though they might not be matching with the other chunks of pieces that are out there. So I'm just slowly trying to get as many pieces as possible together so that I can visually see how the picture is going to fix because i think one thing i realized when i was doing this puzzle was that even if i thought that a piece was going to go in a certain place it actually didn't because i think i was not able to blow up the image in my head and kind of um adjust to the dimensions of the actual size i think that comes with practice though so i'm not 
I wasn't too concerned about that. But at the same time, like I was, I was laughing to myself because I thought a piece would go a certain place and then it didn't. And I was like, wow, okay, that was a surprise or a piece that I thought wouldn't fit actually fit. And I'm like, okay, that was weird. So yeah, it, it was a fun process, I guess I would say. Um, every time I was starting to feel tired, I would stop. So that's why, you know, there was a time limit of about 20 to 25 minutes a day. So now I decided that I would start with the brown. For some reason, I thought that that was just easier to go because I started looking at a lot of brown pieces together. And I realized that, okay, that was a certain section of the puzzle. So I was like, okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do the uh, light brown pieces. <laughs> I think the middle and the right section was the most difficult. I think that the left side was a lot more easier to complete. And there you go guys, I realized that it actually fits. And that was like a huge surprise moment for me because I was like, oh, that actually fits there. And I've got that part right. So I was like, okay. And the minute that fixed, Everything else on the left side became that much more easier because if you look at the picture, the left side's actually more distinct in terms of the stroke lines, the, the colors and stuff like that. So it was much more easier, but the, the right side and the middle part of it, they are quite blurry in the sense that the strokes are so faint and there are so many strokes in each individual puzzle pieces and it was just, a lot more difficult to do the right side. So that's when I made the decision that I would actually finish the left side first before I got onto the right side. So this is the exact moment that I decided, okay, I've got the left side and I should just work with that. And by now I'd already started sorting the pieces according to their colors. So it was that much more easier for me to figure out where each piece was going. So I it's not in the frame, but on the side on the mat that I've put, you, uh, there are actually chunks of pieces that I have put together that have the same colors or where I thought they were gonna go. So yeah, so I just, so it was definitely easier to go that route. And I think that that was just a learning process for me because as I'm looking at other puzzles online, which I did after I finished make, making this entire puzzle, I realized that that's something that people do. And um, if I had seen those earlier, then I think I might have approached this in a much faster and a much smarter way. So I guess it's all part of the process and I was completely fine with that. So yeah, you can see the picture forming. It's such a beautiful puzzle, guys. It's a really beautiful one. It's a painting that's been made into a puzzle and it was just, it was really beautiful to see it I don't know, becoming a real life piece. And every stroke, every part of it was just so intricate. And, you know, it was just, it was really nice to do this puzzle. It felt like I was painting it, even though it wasn't, but still. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you know, but the piece that you see in the middle exactly in the middle those actually fit together but i didn't realize it until much much later so those are one of the funny moments i guess i can pinpoint and show you right now that those two pieces actually do fit together but i just didn't realize it um, until much later and i was still busy looking for that missing piece over there even though it was right down there right below um, that entire section So as I was doing the left side, I did find a few pieces for the bottom as well. And the bottom has a different stroke than the entire puzzle. So it was easier to find those pieces as well. Even though the design on those pieces were smaller, it was just a different color and it was able, I was able to figure it out.
So sometimes I would look at the box, try to figure out where each piece was going. And at some point I kept looking for pieces that would actually fit in the exact places. So that's exactly what you see me doing over here. And it looks like we're almost having the left side complete. It should be done uh, until I figure that that one thing that's still hanging in the middle of the page. Um, and then I think once I figure that out, it just becomes easier. Yeah, I, yes, I realized it just now. <laughs> and that was like a funny moment for me when I did realize that. And now the picture is so much more clear, I'm able to figure out where each one goes. So at this point, I've picked out the colors that go into that section and I'm slowly putting them in. Uh, by this time, on the left side, I had all the left stuff like all the left puzzle pieces and on the right side I had all the right puzzle pieces so I was pretty sure that I had all the pieces to complete the left side and I was just going to pick them out and figure out what goes where I wasn't doing this very systematically it was just more so of finding that piece looking at the puzzle picture and then seeing where it goes and just fitting it in so I guess I would say that was my strategy at this point, but you know, I think I was just winging it, basically. And then we have me almost completing the left side, so I'm just looking for that one tiny piece over there, and I think I'm all set. Oh wait, yep, yep, I'm all set with the left side, and it looks so, so beautiful. So now I'm just trying to get the right side and I wanted to keep the leaves part of it, that's the top right corner later because that was the most difficult according to me. So the top right, I was gonna leave it. So I was starting with the bottom because that was much more easier. The strokes in the pictures on the puzzle was just much more clear for the bottom part. So that's me kind of figuring out back end. And then I also did the Eiffel Tower because that was easier to figure out the pieces. The pieces were pretty evident that it was the Eiffel Tower. However, as it got to the lower part of the Eiffel Tower, again, the strokes were getting too confusing. So I kind of didn't do that. So I went back to figuring out other stuff. And then this is me just kind of putting the pieces where I thought they were gonna go and then just waiting and making sure that I was getting it right. And then over time, I was able to sort of understand, okay, well, this is supposed to go here and that was supposed to go here. So by this time, I was able to kind of differentiate between the, the real life size and the picture size. So I guess it does take a little bit of time to figure out, especially if you're a newbie to puzzles, and which I am, guys. This was my first one in 20 years. So I think by this point, I was much more aware and it definitely became faster as the days went by. So I can definitely say for sure that I was getting faster and faster by the end of the puzzle making sessions. I'm definitely going to try another one soon and hopefully I'm much, much faster at that than I am with this. Seven hours for a 500 piece puzzle. I mean, from what I saw on YouTube, that seems to be the norm, but you know, I think there are people who have done it way, way faster and I mean, I'm not competing or anything, but that's just really impressive. So at this point, I'm starting to complete the middle part of it and it's a lot easier to complete the middle part of it because again, like I said, um, the colors are just a lot more defined in that. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And at this point, I realized 
I can't skip the right side and I have to get to it at some point. So I am actually starting with the right side. And as you can make out, towards the end, it just got a lot faster because there are only a few pieces left. I think there were about 50 pieces by this time. And because there are so few pieces left, it's easier for you to figure out which goes where. And that's exactly what happened. I left the blue for the last because again, those pieces were a little difficult to figure out because it was just plain blue and I didn't know how and where each one would go unless it fit into the entire thing. And voila, guys, that was me doing my entire puzzle. Woo! And yeah, that's me getting up and saying bye. <laughs>